Cowboys here. Cowboy. It is. It's how I nest rolls. <laughs> We decided to bring my dad to one of the local places that we love. We've been here before with Danny and Tina, so let me show you where we're at. We are here at Big B's Texas Barbecue, and I'm starving. Ready to eat? All right, so we're starting to get our food here. Look at that tri-tip sandwich. Dad, check this out. Oh, check it out. Now, those are the sauces over there if you want to put some sauces. Okay, I got just meat. I know, we're going to use our, our fingers, right, to eat with. So good. All right, look at that yummy, yummy mac and cheese. What do you think, Kobe? Is that good? Ezzy, we're going to get you some stuff. But look at that. That is right up your alley. Yeah, it is. Totally up my alley. <laughs> and Jonas, you have a pulled pork. Now there's, there's a barbecue sauce right behind you. That meat is so good. You can try a little bit here. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone! I am so happy to be seeing you today. I see you. Okay. Wasn't that so fun to go with my father to Big B's barbecue? Now, if you remember, I went with Danny and Tina, and we loved it. And of course, we loved it again. So we are in process right now to making the mashed potatoes for our Thanksgiving dinner. And I always make them the way that the Pioneer Woman does. So what I'll do is, like the recipe I did the other day, is I'll just link it or put it in the description box, because I think you could Google it and find it. But these make the creamiest, yummiest potato, mashed potatoes I have ever had. So normally when I make them, it's just a little bit of milk and some mashed potato, or some butter with um, some salt and pepper, super easy. This is like kicked up a notch, so I'll show you. So let's get started. So all I have here is five pounds of clean potatoes, russet. It could be the red skinned ones, whichever potatoes you'd like. That's the beauty of this recipe. I just like these ones. So this is gonna stay skins on. I love them with the skins. And I'm gonna put them in a pot. Now my pot here is the larger one, but it doesn't, I mean, it fits it, but it kind of overflows a little. So I'm gonna separate it into two and cook them quickly. It'll take about 20 minutes to get them fork tender. Okay, I've just quartered all of the potatoes and what I've done is I've rinsed out the water a few times. I know that will rinse out some of the starches, but I just kind of like to start with clean water, like clear water, so it doesn't get so much of that foam when it's cooking. Almost done. Okay, my potatoes are all done and I'm gonna pour all the water, no water behind, and get a facial at the same time. So we're gonna get those back in the pot and put it on a low flame just to get all of the steam out as much as the water because we don't want it to turn mealy. And then you're just gonna smash. I love smashed potatoes. It's like one of our favorite things to eat. But like I said, I just do it really easy with a little butter and milk. This is gonna have a lot of fun things in it that'll make it really, really creamy. So let's get that going. We're gonna put some seasoned salt. Um, it calls for like a half to a teaspoon, but I do a little bit more than a teaspoon. So it's like a well-rounded, kind of spread that around. Same thing with the pepper. I love pepper in mashed potatoes. So a little bit like a well-rounded teaspoon. Then here comes the creamy stuff. One and a half sticks of butter. And then we're gonna do softened cream cheese and then some half and half that's right extra cream fest coming in a minute here <laughs> so i'm just going to start mixing this in and then i'll get the cream cheese and the half and half and it is delicious 
come Look up. at that yumminess. Just getting that in. And then the next thing that goes in there is half and half. Okay, I'm gonna do most of this. And leave like about a, a third of it just for the end. And then I'm gonna get this going. Oh, it's already looking divine. Okay, we're all done. So now I need taste testers. Gotta get a good chunk. It's kind of hot. Let's, let's see. Here's this. my papo. <laughs> That's what we call him. Let's see this it's hot. It's hot. Mm, nice. So it's good. So <laughs> good. Yeah, That's what good. we want now that the fork's melted. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I think it's real nice, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, what a bag. I saved the potatoes. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> You're trying to give me a heart attack, guys. All right, so when it's done, I'm just putting it in a, um, a pan. And actually this recipe can be done the night before and then you can reheat it. So it could even be one of those things you can plan ahead. Now I know it's not it's not enough time because you know Thanksgiving's past, but Christmas is coming, get togethers are still happening. Or if you're just having a fancy dinner, I highly, highly suggest uh, the Pioneer Woman's recipe. So I'll, like I said, I'll add that in the the, the description box or I will just have a, have a link. So what I'm doing is putting some a little pats of butter on top and I'm just gonna put it in a low oven to about 200 degrees to just keep it warm until it's time to go. But I cannot wait. Time to get ready. came straight home from my father-in-law's and I changed out the wreaths and put this cute little Christmas decor in the front and now I know I need to put more stuff so we're gonna be getting it out very very soon if you want to see it more up close those were about five to six dollars each Looks good. So we're having second desserts. I'm so excited. Look at that pumpkin roll. I got that from a friend. So yummy. Then some leftovers. This was from Thanksgiving at my father-in-law's. He gave us some leftover, some apple pie that hadn't even been touched. Plus the rest of that uh, chocolate pecan. Look, it's getting on my finger. <laughs> it is so good, but it did stick to the bottom. That's because I poked the holes through. So if you're doing it that way, you may not want to. <laughs> looks like Ezra got some apple pie, yummy whipped cream on that. That looks so good. And this is mine. It's just an apple, it's just a whipped cream pie. I'm just kidding. It's just so good. And that pumpkin roll. Yum, yum to leftovers. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I hope you've had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We gobbled till we wobbled, right? <laughs> so thank goodness for leftovers. I hope you had a wonderful day and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next.